Hey guys, it's Judy, and I have a lot of catching up to do. Um, I have a lot of hauls to share with you, so this is a collective one. Um, first off, right here are all the new Heidi Swap, um, the new colors, Color Shine. The Blush, the Sea Foam, the Coral, the White, um, can't wait to try the Navy, and the Citron. So those are all the colors, six colors, and I know they have it at my craft channel now for, I think they're roughly $5 each, or $14.99 for a set of three, they group them. But I got them at Marker Pop, um, and I also picked up this greeting form, Holiday Anya 3, I think she's super cute in the scarf, with the star, and the hair, and I also picked up the... Picture perfect um, a greeting farm stamp. So that's what I got at Marker Pop. And then I also placed a Simon Says stamp. I'm sure everyone knows the code for this month is thanks at Simon Says stamp. I'll leave that up. And I had purchased the Kelly Perky um, die, eat, drink, be merry, and repeat. Let me take it out so you can see the size of it. So it is just basically I believe a 3 by 4 um, so I'm wondering yeah if you can do it like Project Life. Let me see. Let's see. I have one of these cards. Mm -hmm. So it's exactly the same size. So yep and that's the die. I hadn't cut it out yet. I haven't tried it. But that is this. Okay. I thought it'd be great for Project Life. I also picked up the Mama Elephant foodie one, which um, has been out for a while, but I never purchased it. So I thought I would place an order and get this. And then I also picked up the Hero Arts... Um, I don't know what this is called. Do they have names on this? Naughty or Nice. That's what it's called. Um, or CL712. So, I like the Please Do Not Open Until Christmas. They have Naughty or Nice. Um, it's December. I try to stay away from the... Holiday stamps, because, well, once you get one, then that's probably all you need. <laughs> so, I have plenty, so I just got one this year. But I really like this, to put on tags or labels for presents. So, I thought that was cute. And then I just picked up um, some old stuff. The Amy Tan Noteworthy, or, yeah, Noteworthy um, sticker book. So, a lot of stickers. Eight sheets of stickers. So, uh, this is just nice and bright, which I love. And then I also picked up the good stuff. Eight pages as well. So, the sticker book. And so... Really cute. And then I picked up like a few packs of these Avery L um, stamp die envelope things. Because that's kind of sort of how I've been trying to set up my stamp storage. Um, I haven't really committed to taking it all out of the packaging and everything yet. So, like, I kind of just put. I kind of put them in, and then let me see if I have an example. <laughs> well, some of them. Do I even have any? Sorry. My room's a mess. But, um, let's see if I have any. I thought I did. But I just have those bins, and I've been putting my stamps all along and flipping through. I like flipping through my stamps. Anyway, and then on Blitzy, they had all these, like, Memento Lux, and I can't wait to try it, because it's for mixed media, and, um, 
So I think here you can stamp on like photos and um, and um, look, it says ideal for paper, fabric, wood, leather, and more. So, um, so I can't wait to try it. I think I saw who was it, Christina Werner, do it. So is this what is this? What kind of ink is it? Pigment ink. So I got pretty much all the colors. <laughs> the nautical blue, the Danube blue, um, the lilac posies, the sweet plum, and the elderberry, and the peanut brittle, and the toffee crunch. Yes, I, and they didn't have, they ran out of all the pink ones, so I was like, darn, but pistachio, and olive grove, and then also northern pine. So I like having um, different shades of the similar colors, just because with the two-step two stamping, or um, sometimes with flowers, they have the stamp like this one from A Mama Elephant where they have the outline and then they have like the solid background. So you would stamp this in like a lighter color and the outline in a shade darker and then you put it on. And um, I had also got, I was on like some ink craze so I did pick up all the Mama Elephant um, colors as well. It was like how many? One, two, four, four, twelve. 12 of them for $65 at Mama Elephant, so um, I did do that, and I, let me show you. Now, Mama Elephants, it's a pigment ink as well, and I did get to, it's pigment-based, acid-free, non-toxic, embossable, so storing pads upside down, okay, so I guess I should be putting them like that. Anyway, I stamped out some. I haven't opened my Lux ones, the Memento Lux, yet. Because um, I just got them like yesterday. But I did play around with the Mama Elephant ones. And this is kind of like what I was talking about, doing the two tones. And it's it feels like a chalk, like a chalk ink. And if you touch it, I don't know, it feels like there's still like some film it feels like there's a layer, so I don't know how fond I am of it, um, because it didn't really get full coverage, but when I compared it, now look how beautiful this is, I think, I believe this is the color box, this is color box, the MF, my favorite things, let me see, um, the color, let me pick the pink one. So, so these are clear stamp. No, this is uh, rubber stamps, actually. But look at the coverage. So much better. It's kind of blotchy on the edges, but um, this was like for the bottom. And then I believe these are Stampin' Up! ones. So really solid and full. And there's no like residual feel. But for the Mama Elephant, it feels like... You know how crayon feels? Like waxy and... Um, Oh, that's what it just kind of chalk. See, look, I s some came off. So I don't know if it'll rub off. But you see how I have powder on my and I stamped this like three, four days ago, maybe over the weekend, or even before that. So I don't know, guys. Anyway, um, I will test out the Memento Lux, and I will let you know what it looks like, and I will try to spray out. The, um, the Heidi Swap colors. Okay? See you guys. Bye.